Salutations and good morrow everyone welcome back to another grounded update video where today we're hopping in and we're going to be looking at another one of the new features that recently got added to the game. Yes, I'm talking the field station scanners. So there are new scanners that are added to the game that allows you to more or less scan for resources in the game. But a little unknown fact is that these come on as unpowered when you start a new game. You could tell by what Pete is saying and about what my quests are and how I'm trying to interact with things that this is a brand new game. I have nothing and I'm currently on day zero. So I have absolutely nothing and I'm here to show you guys how to activate these today. So the first thing you are going to need to do is you are going to need to get all the way through to the point where you get to the hedge, the uh, hedge lab you need to get into the hedge lab and in order to get into the hedge lab you do need to go through and do the standard story by pressing this button and going through and trying to press this button deactivating the grass and all of that and getting the big explosion to happen once all of that happens you need to make your way over to the hedge and i will show you guys that in just a second all right, here we are over at the hedge. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to climb all the way through the hedge ascent and we're going to speed run this okay so you go through the hedge ascent follow it around to the way that you get over to the lab i'll show you guys how to get through there by just literally running there and then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to fight off a whole bunch of orb weavers juniors and you're gonna have to fight off a bunch of spiderlings while you're making your way through the base that's over there because you will need to get all the way through the base that's there i will be showing you guys how to do that when we get over there but more or less you need to find all the pieces to the password and then also once you find all the pieces to the password input that into the computer so that way you can uh, unlock the door to get to where the switch is so let's run over there here really quick jump over this or this uh, little spiderling goodbye and just keep running over here it's not that hard to run through the hedge as long as you're careful and also if you are going to run through the hedge like i am right now i would really suggest grabbing yourself a little tufty uh, cause because without a tuft if you don't have one and you fall off from up here you will die you need a tuft to make sure that you don't die on your way down from falling. But if you're like me and you've done this enough, you tend not to fall off very often, if ever. So keep that in mind when, when running through here. Because I'd hate for you guys to get all the way to the end and then end up falling off and dying at the end. And then you're mad because you almost made it, but then you couldn't. It's happened to me so many times. That's the only reason why I'm saying this, because I'm speaking from experience. So let's hop up here. Oops. Hop up here. There we go and take that down grab yourself some free raw science on the way over because free raw science is free raw science all right and you want to go back up and over this way another tufty in case you forgot the one that was back there run up here hippity hoppity hippity hoppity all the way to the birdie boiler okay so now that we're up here Take your little zip line in and this is where the actual quest starts right so this is where it actually gets hard what you're looking to do is you're looking to flip that switch that's right there but in order to do that the first things you need to do is activate this grab this inner lab note for fun run over here now don't do like me and just jump over the spiders and stuff actually fight them uh, i'm doing this purely for um example i'm just gonna grab that one really quick Run over here. Avoid this guy. Bring yourself up a... I don't know why he's not attacking me right now. Bring yourself... There it is. No. Back up. There. Bring yourself a rock because you're going to need it to, in order to knock down the a berry that's over here as well. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Yeah, fight the spiderling. Fight the spiderling. Not Sim. No, leave me alone. I'm trying to get pieces here. Okay. Ah! Run over here. Slide on down. Press control to drop down in the hole. Grab this guy. Run away! I'm just trying to speed run this at the moment without getting attacked by anything. No. Wait. Okay. Okay, make my way through here. All right, so this next one's a little bit more tricky because in order to get this one, you have to throw something at this berry. Come on. All right, so you got to actually throw something at this berry. I'm just going to huck my axe at it for now because I don't need it anymore. Get that. Come on down here. 
grab this piece. I actually did need that. Crap. Well, I guess I can just sit here and punch this. All right, give me a second. I'm just going to sit here and punch this until it's gone. All right, we're good. Never mind. I punched really fast. All right. Then the last piece you want to get is right over here. Once you have all the pieces of the puzzle, you can fall down this hole right here. Okay, and then run right over here. That is the best way to get the password. All right, this door will be unlocked because you already activated the computer terminal. So you just run back over here. Dodge around these guys. Take a wrong turn on Albuquerque, apparently. Ah, run away. No, thank you. All right, just keep running. No, thank you. I'm out. No, thanks. All right. Then you just run around over here. Make sure you don't get attacked by anything else. And then activate the computer terminal, which will end up opening up a door that's right behind you. Go ahead and activate that, opening up this door. And then you get this really, really cool cutscene. Alrighty, and just like that, you have now activated the survey station, so that way you can now go around and get all of the different unique items. Now I'm going to run over to one really quick so I can show you guys what it looks like now that they're activated, and then uh, that's probably going to wrap up the video, so I'll see you guys at a research station. Alrighty, so we're right over by the baseball. I figured that this is a good one to go run to because everybody knows where this station is, and it's the most used one in the beginning of the game so i thought that this would be a great one to start at to show you guys the uh little resource surveyor here is the resource surveyor anything that you have researched or have eaten or run into or picked up you will now be able to use um, as a scanner and you will be able to click on it and say okay show me where sprigs are and then what it'll do is it'll actually light up all of the sprigs that you can go and pick up now there's only a couple of sprigs around here you can also do like juice drops and stuff like that and this does go through and just tell you where every single one is look at that boom there's all your plant fiber you all need some plant fiber but anyway uh last little note on this as well guys is that every single one of these surveying stations inside of the science outposts here will end up expanding this location that you see on your map so all of these circles will end up covering the entire area so you'll be able to search the entire map at once also, as you guys can see from me going into my map here, instead of into the surveying station, whatever your last search is on the survey station will also show up on your map as well so you can find those items. And of course, it is correct because there's plant fiber right here, right here, and right here. So that is definitely working. It is an awesome feature and I hope you guys use it. Also guys, please make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.